Hello everyone and welcome back to another Inktoberfest. This is Aya from ayaspapercrafts.com. This episode is my last video for Maker 40 Inktober. I hope you enjoyed all my previous videos. You can find me on YouTube or Instagram under Aya's Paper Crafts. Okay, now for today's video, I'm going to share with you how to use inks to elevate your die cuts. So let's get started. Oh, today I'm going to use something different. I'm going to use uh, my Cricut uh, Maker Machine. So um, first I will open my uh, Cricut Design Space. And this, you know, Design Space, you can choose any, um, you know, any design and you can uh, cut it. So I would like to make some full decor. So when I open it, uh, you have here like um, like an icon written image and you have a search bar. Uh, so I'm going just to type, you know, fall leaves and literally you will find like thousands of, you know, designs. You can choose whatever you want. Some are free and some, you know, with like uh, $1 or 99 cents, you know, uh, if you'd like to purchase. One. So there is so many designs. I mean, you don't know <laughs> what to choose. So I'm going to choose uh, this image as a cluster or, uh, you know, some bunch of uh, leaves together. So when you, you know, choose your image, you can, you know, um, make it small, make it big, whatever you want. As you see here, I'm just disabling this core because I don't have this core tools. I just want it to be like this because I'm going, you know, to color it. So when you press make it, it you have to cut it six times. But I, I forgot to, you know, film this part that I attach them. So I just have one cut. So they would cut me, you know, all six leaves and one cut. Now the machine is cutting all the leaves. And now we're going to take all these die cuts and let's color them. Okay, so I left the paper attached to the mat, you know, easy to color all the leaves at once. So I chose uh, three different shades of uh, red color. I'm using Distress Oxide, definitely you can use any type of ink. And I'm going to start coloring from light to dark, from center, moving to the edges. I know it's gonna look horrible, you know, you can see <laughs> where is the image or where is the leaves, but wait till the end, it will look so nice. So we have all our beautiful leaves and now it's time to add some texture. I'm using uh, iridescent watercolors uh, by uh, Paul Rubin it's from Amazon. I'm going to link everything, all right, the names in the description box and I'm going to do splatter. I really love adding splatter. So I choose like a light, um, light gold or maybe light silver and uh, gold. 
look to the shiny leaves i really love them okay so here i did the same process i die cut or not me i mean the cricut machine cut the same images same leaves but this time i used a colored cardstock this is a yellow color cardstock and this paper from cut cardstock again i'm going to write the name in the description box so this time i'm not going to color uh you know the leaves i'm going just to highlight the edges because each you know uh, leaves is different and has you know different edge so i'm going to highlight it by you know color it or let's say distress the edges using darker shade it will give uh it will really gives you know um like a depth of look you know or you know deeper look you know to the die cut At the end, I'm going to punch a small hole and I'm going to insert all the leaves inside the uh, this, um, you know, a gold uh, thread. Uh, and voila, I'm going to hang them in my craft room. So I hope you like this uh, video. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you over my channel. Bye, guys.